Hello everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN News Video Web and for the Travel Suite. Today we're here with Bruce Gordon with Whole Nother Level, which Bruce is both the writer, director, and creator for Whole Nother Level, which is going to be at the Cannes, um, will be in Cannes during the Cannes Film Festival this year. Now Bruce, I know we've been talking just a little bit beforehand. This is not your first year at the Cannes Film Festival, is it? No, it's not. I went last year for the first time. That was a great experience. And this, I was able, sorry. it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, I was able to watch lots of films from other filmmakers from all over the world, and because of the credentials that the festival gives, I was able to go to the International Village and meet uh, the film commissions from different parts of the world, as well as look at some of the great festival entries. Ooh. So this year with Whole Nother Level, you're introducing it. You're actually, are you taking it to for sale at the Marsh to Film? Um, Whole Nother Level, the short film actually will be in a disability festival across town called the Oscar to Marsh Festival. Mm -hmm. and that's a disability themed festival. Uh, I met uh, someone from that festival last year in the short film corner. And that's where. Uh, my film will be in competition on uh, May the 20th in the 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. block. Oh, wow. And I'm also, I'm also going to be at the Marche du Film in the producer's workshop where I'll be learning all about how to do European co-productions and how to pitch my three features that I have there, three features which are currently in development. And um, I'll be doing both the feature promotion as well as hoping that my film wins a prize at the festival. Wow, you're going to be busy. You've got three features plus the short? Wow. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, thank you. However, the features, I have to say that they are in development, meaning we are, we're at the script phase and we're trying to get the right cast attached. Uh, budgeting and trying to get the financing and looking specifically for executive producers who have track records with working with A-list talent. Uh, and that's my main focus, yes. Okay, I could see that. Now, can you tell me about your film, Whole Nother Level? Now, this is kind of interesting because it's with at the Disability Theme Festival, but it's about um, people with disabilities. Yes, um, in my story, it's about a young man, 20 years old, who had to pass a dexterity test before his 21st birthday in order to avoid being sent to an adult disability home because his parents are too old and sickly to take care of him. And in my story, he fails the test on the last day, but then something else happens. I can't say what that is. You have to see it. You have to see the movie. Well, it does... Does this movie come from personal experience? Well, actually, my wife is a school psychologist, and she works with kids who have disabilities. So I was looking at some of her work with some of her clients, and then I noticed also that there are a couple of young men in the building that I live in, and they have a different disability, not the cerebral palsy that my character has, but in this case, they were autistic. They live in their own apartment, they wash their own clothes, they cook their own food, and then a social worker would come by and visit them once a week to make sure that they were all safe. So that made me think of a story like theirs, and these guys, they all like, you know, the Lakers, or they all, you know, talked about having girlfriend problems. I don't even know if they had girlfriends, but they had girlfriend <laughs> problems. Well, that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> aha moment that, and I put this on a title card in my film, that just because a person has a disability doesn't mean that they don't have the same hopes, dreams, and desires as everybody else. Well, and that's I, what I really wanted to communicate with this film. I think that's a great idea, and I also noticed that besides yourself, that your associate producer, Tony Chu, and director of photography is also going to be at the Cannes Film Festival, too. Absolutely. Tony was my DP. I made him an associate producer because he's like such a great guy. He, he gave me way more than just the cameraman would give me. So he actually will be going because he has two projects in the short film corner. One that he directed and then one I think he was DP on. But then he also has one that's in the can market, a feature film that's in the can market that he did camera work for. Well, be
between the two of you guys, I think you're going to have Can wrapped up. <laughs> I hope so. And we'll have a lot of fun because he speaks Mandarin Chinese, so we're going to go to the uh, China. China, China um, is having a big gala on the 20th, and we're going to go there and see if we can get some of that money so we can make films. <laughs> well, that would be really good. Now, if people want to find out more information on your movie and where you're going to be at Cannes and what you're doing, where is the best place to reach you on the Internet? The best place to reach me is at my website, and that's BruceGordonMedia.com. And then they can just look for the tab, and I'll get all the information there, BruceGordonMedia.com. Thank you, Bruce, and we will see you at the Cannes Film Festival.